Good evening. Welcome back to my stream of OpenXCOM Equal Terms. Uh, just about to start the game. We're halfway through the month of January. Got uh, some research going, some alien research here, so hopefully that will produce something for us because we need some new armor and people keep going face down. But we're going to see what's going to happen. So let's go in here. Stream 2A. I did a quick little edit of the uh, program to the save to get a new person in there. A fellow streamer, uh, Catastrophe, Catastrophe Black. Uh, also got the new music working for the game, which makes me happy. Uh, it's a combination of the game, the music from the PlayStation version and some remixes produced by various other people uh, in the modding community. Now, let's go take a look at a new person. Pastor B, there we go. So let's go see if anybody's dead. Ray's dead. Nope. Everybody's back. Um, things are looking good. I have five more days on this. Got a new... A new uh, door here. So we need to get some stuff on this uh, Sky Ranger though. Because we're still a little, we're still short on some heavy weapons last time. So we have two saws. We're gonna need two grenade launchers. I'm gonna need to order some more grenades. That's not good. Uh, let's get two rocket launchers on there. Oh yeah, I need to buy some more ammo here. Uh, let's get a third uh, single shot rocket launcher on there. Ten grenades. Six proximity grenades. No one uses incendiary grenades, unfortunately. One more, two more smoke grenades because we're going to need to do smoke grenades on our entries. Thanks for the tip there, uh, Crumpet. And oh, stun rod. Why am, I, why am I not rolling with a stun rod? Okay, frag satchel there. We're a little over-equipped, but rather have the uh, equipment match the person. So, we're looking pretty good right now. Uh, stream's going well. I'm hoping it keeps up. I've been having some... Uh, we had a lightning strike nearby last weekend, so internet's been a little flaky since then. Hoping that everything continues to work. There we go. And now we should have enough uh, storage that we can purchase anything we want. Let's see. Get some another five scientists real quick. Get some more avalanche missiles because we're really close to running out. Uh, I think we're good on tanks right now. It looks like we're good on mags. Oh, we always could use some more mags. This is worse than running out of ammo when you need it. Okay. Cool. Well, I could use some more multiple grenade launchers. Use a lot more grenades. Those are the workhorse grenades. Yeah, I've, um, due to this, the uh, advanced modding capabilities the, uh, of OpenXPON Extended, I'm actually able to make incendiary rounds somewhat useful. In the original game, the damage it did was limited to 5 to 16, basically setting the uh, opponent on fire. It did almost no damage to uh, anything because armor was incredible. Armor is much tougher than that than the max damage it could do. But now it does some incendiary explosive damage and also sets it on fire. We'll see how the balance works out. I might have to I might have to implement an actual uh, script in the game to make it do some damage over time, kind of like a poison. But we'll see where that's at. Still testing it. I need a lot more these light rockets. Light rockets are the uh, rocket, light rockets are the workhorse of the rocket launcher because you really don't need to be dropping the huge boom of the large rockets and everything. Five of these. Oh, it looks like we're doing good in grenades. Okay, grenades. Get another those those. Six of those. Now the reason why you want to have a varied amount of weapons, and that's pretty much the whole 
design ideal behind uh, this mod ever since I put it together back in 2000. It was to give a larger number of technical options so that you could deal with deal with various situations in different manners. Whether you want to just go with the Haunted Rebel Theory and just wreck everything and leave a smoking ruin everywhere, or if you want to work more of a uh, slow and slow and low sit game like I play, where you just you know, keep the angles covered off, keep advancing slowly, sweeping clear. Or if you just want to just roll all machine guns. It's all there. Or you can also uh, roll with like the insurgent style of uh, fighting. Have two guys with automatic weapons, the rest of the guys with explosives. And like that's what they're that's what they're seeing on battlefields all over uh, Africa and uh, the Middle East right now. Is squads of ten to twelve people, most of the crew composed of people using RPGs. So about giving options. A few more armor here. Good. Okay, looking good. Let's check our research real quick. Oh, we're getting some alien some progress in the alien allies. That's a good sign. Can I still can I produce anything yet? Negatory. Alright. Right back into it here. Okay. Um, going into the funding here, this is something I didn't cover before. You can see your UFO activity based on what they're reporting on what you on what your radar is finding. But more importantly, where did the funding go? Ability. Nope. Funding. Here we go. This number randomly changes. Generally, as I was saying before, um, you want to put your base in the people who are funding you most. Usually, it's the United States, but sometimes that can that number can drop as low as three hundred thousand. Um, Russia ranges between. Uh, 200,000 to 500,000. France is generally third, or Germany, but it all depends on the dice roll. It's all kind of covered. I mean, for some reason right now, we're only making 600,000 through from Brazil, <laughs> Brazil and Japan, which is highly unusual. And you know, it looks like I'm gonna have to build my my base bases. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go leave uh, Russia to fend, leave Europe to fend for itself right now because most of my money's in. Eastern Asia and Africa and South America. Unusual. But that never always changes. And you're best served putting bases on places that are funding you the best. Because if you're not able to maintain uh, radar coverage on them, the aliens will be able to conduct missions without you being able to see them. And your score is just going to drop lower and lower in those countries. Now, if your score is honestly good enough, they make $6 million in, uh, a month. Your score is honestly good enough. You can raise the score of the whole planet up and not have to worry about it so much. But depends the difficulty you're on. Depends if you're having to bail out of missions. Depends which sort of evaluation you're getting on your missions. So yeah, let's go over here. I got a little bit of fuzz under my mask today, it's bothering me. Okay, uh, bases, graphs, twenty first. Around the first of February, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a new uh, base somewhere, probably probably East Asia. Generally, somewhere around here. So it'll give you coverage of all this Southeast Asia, whole area here, and part of Russia, Australia. I'll have to cover off later on. But yeah, this um, this map here called the Geoscape was revolutionary at the time. And no other game really gave you a globe map back in the mid '90s. To uh, hey there, uh, tips. Sorry if I'm interrupting your stream right now. That's uh, always good to see you. Yeah, you might see a occasional. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a global game. You have. Uh, <laughs> When you first out the game, you can place your uh, base anywhere on the map. Again, you're best served based on your funding, where you want where you want to put it. But yeah, you can put it in India, China, Australia. You can put it right in the middle of like the Congo area of of uh, Africa and cover off Egypt, Nigeria, 
in South Africa, only the nations that fund you will have names. You don't see Mexico or any of the Central American countries here because they don't fund. Just like you see Spain, you don't see Portugal, you don't see any of the uh, Eastern European nations. But you do see Russia. And yeah, they that's kind of nice. The, the map was updated. In the original map, they uh, included Kazakhstan as part of Russia. They actually moved some of the map around. Ah, just got home. Yeah. Were you uh, teaching, teaching somebody the uh, sweet science? Or were you just out there causing trouble? I know you're in Florida, so Florida's a little mad. A bit of Detroit ginger ale. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like you can hear the music come through when I stop talking. That that looks pretty good. Go drag this up a little bit. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have you have uh, your clients come and uh, learn boxing at you. Nice. Yeah, some people are born to it. Some people just know how to turn those shoulders and hips over. Wish I could say I could. No, nope, I'm a sissy grappler at heart. That's why I got the mask. Okay, let's roll the time time up forward a little bit here. Watch the uh, lobe here progress. Music's not too loud, I hope. Yeah, I had some fights. I had some grappling matches. My, my record in grappling matches is horrendous. Ooh, finally. My medikit doesn't actually restore health, but... It can heal fatal, fatal wounds and keep people from bleeding out. And also get them up when they're stunned or down. So, that's handy. Perfect, thanks. Exactly what I wanted to hear here. Still trying to figure out my audio stack within the filters of uh, OBS still. Okay. I crank that time up. Oh, there we go. There's our... There's all our gear I ordered. No UFOs for a while. That's a bit uh, worrying. Yeah, I've launched missiles. That's good. Oh boy. Where are you at? We'll put an air cap on it. Oh, looks up right about in. Wow, up in Houghton Lake. <laughs> yeah, I better go to the base and get everybody on. Cancel. Bases. Quick craft. Let's strip everybody out. Everybody off. Okay. The villain is number one here. Okay. One. I'm using OBS. Maybe I should move to Streamlabs. He seems to have some extra options. The villain saving subhuman. Tips 135. Castro might be in later. Um. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Got a full bus here. Go, uh, yeah, the equipment looks good. The crew looks okay. Let's get some armor on some people before I uh, pay the price on that. No more sending in people naked into uh, entry situations. I mean, not that uh, body armor does a whole, conventional body armor does a whole lot against plasma weapons, but it's some protection. Figured that uh, when I wrote the, let's see, your villain, he was in the military, so let's put him in some jungle armor here. Saving, urban, and put him in some light. I think he's our sniper. Yeah. Have jungle armor here. Gasser, put them in some light armor. Pickles. Ooh, ooh. Oh, pickles, I'll put them in some heavy armor. 
No, 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 no. The mouse is a little flaky in this game. Your pick, Mr. Kanjar, gets a jungle light armor. Bata is quite used to wearing a tactical rig. Donger's just huge. Tips, you're getting some light armor so you can move because you're going to be part of the entry team. And uh, some Arctic armor on... Let's go with jungle. Okay, everybody's armored up. No damage. Tanks on board. Okay, let's go over here. And this is going to be a night mission. Just as the sun's going down. Every time. All right. As I said before, we've been having some internet connection issues in the area. Uh, ever since a lightning strike last weekend. And it seems like the issue had popped up. So, quick jumped out of the game. Uh, gave the rudder a kick in the head. Gave my cable modem a kick in the head. We'll see if things work out better now. All right. Okay, let's get our game loaded up here. Yeah. That's looking good. Almost 10 o'clock. Okay, got the Sky Ranger incoming here. Right as uh, <laughs> nighttime is coming. Got the interceptor on uh, Sky Cap on top of it in case it tries to lift off. But yeah, it's going to be a bit of a mess here. But at least this way I can illustrate how to use... Uh, how to use the electro flares to control the darkness and try to mitigate some of the advantage they have. Yeah, that's just east of probably what would be Houghton Lake, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm sure everybody up there would be losing their minds about seeing a UFO. All right, down and in. Okay. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Hey. Save and let's see who, what your gear is supposed to be. Bear with me a moment here. Almost saw what was up. No. Oh. If you slow it down enough, you'll see. All right. Getting the equip here. Let's see, saving. Sniper rifle pistol. Well, we have to do this first. First, get all the gear out of people's pockets. All right, 50 caliber sniper rifle, one mag, and a machine pistol. Okay. Next person is subhuman. Okay, do we have slugs in there? Yeah, we have, we have buckshot in there. Don't want that right now. Slugs are what we need for medium range. Go, slug back up. Now that shotgun and an SMG off of his hip. His name, Apollo Cruz. No, oh, sorry, Apollo Creed. Eh, that should be good enough. Okay. Yeah, sir. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Thought rifle, pistol, shovel axe. Still working on the script that will uh, have weapons get shot out of hands, but uh, that's that's a little bit further off in my release here. Proximity grenades. Yeah, oh, shoulder. Where's my proxies? Not put. Oh, there they are. Proximity grenade on the belt. Okay. 
in my pocket. It'll be faster. Okay, assault rifle, pistol, shovel axe, proximity grenade. Pixel. Pickles. Sun precision, precision rifle and magnum. There's your wheel gun. And precision rifle. Marksmith's rifle. Okay. Kanjar. Sniper and a shotgun. I only have two snipers, huh? I'll put two snipers on there, so instead you get the next best thing. Lock a shoddy. Bata. Assault rifle, wheel gun. I'm gonna adjust that graphic up a little bit. It looks a little better. But I brought enough wheel guns. Okay. Rifle. Magnum. Assault rifle, shotgun for the next person. Ah, actually, running out of sh level assault rifles. That's a first. Oh, no pocket shotty. Another mistake. Another mistake, Mr. King Mob. Uh, well, your backup gets to be a pistol right now. Okay. And tips. Didn't ask you what you wanted to roll with, but we're going to get you an assault rifle, a pistol, and a fragmentation satchel. Okay, let's put us back at the top of the list here in a second. Cast for B. Well, you know what? We don't have any heavies. Yo, you're going to need a backup weapon. More than anything, the ro people using the rocket launchers need a backup weapon. Okay, hey, well, villain, you've been uh, drafted and using the heavy machine gun here. There we go. I'll get you a belt of ammo. Okay, already had the belt of ammo. So put that uh, smoke grenade in your left hand and arm it. Smoke grenade, left hand, arm it. For that, for that, electro flares, because it's going to be dark. It's going to suck. But having to do work in the dark is part of the game, part of what makes the game super difficult. Okay, who's going to be my backup? Who's not carrying much? Backup Smokey. Backup Smokey. All right. Here we go. Yo, welcome back. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to ask you what you wanted, so. Assault rifle, frag satchel, machine pistol. An electro flare. Actually, I'll give you this, because more people need that. More people need uh, carrying... Single shot rocket launcher, AT4 type weapon, just in case. Because you never know. You never ever know. It's a 6.8 SPC caliber assault rifle built by FN and Colt. Okay, let's throw those smoke grenades out here to give us some cover. Again, cover, uh, smoke is obscures vision, which allows you to move without getting blasted. I really don't care about the tank getting blasted. Oh, not super dark. Ooh. That'll wake you up. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I got enough to uh, put some auto shots up from the auxiliary weapon. Center mass, miss. Yeah, yeah, the, the uh, 
It's a five. It's a five seven, like the uh, five seven uh, SMG on it, like a P ninety. Goes through armor pretty well, but doesn't doesn't wound very well, especially considering these these rounds are all AP tungsten bullets. Because facing down powerful alien armor that seems to stop uh, bullets pretty well. But that's why you're researching technology. Hopefully, you can get past it. Oh. Everybody face the wall so they don't spaz out when they see something. And turn one. Smoke grenades go off. Your movement inside the UFO. Ooh, that's not good. There's a lot of movement. It looks like a small UFO, though. Let's take a look. Startled me. Okay. Two and one. Okay. Two aliens so far. Oh. Everybody likes shooting at the tank. That's the one thing I've learned from uh, playing paintball and that sort of thing is that even though people can't actually hurt the tanks in those games, people like shooting at them for some reason. So... Much like in that, the aliens like to shoot the tank, which is good because the tank's there to take damage. It's not a real tank. It's not like a, an Abrams. It's a, uh, it's a remotely piloted, smaller uh, army vehicle, like a cause, they call them. Quick sip of earners. Okay, let's move out to our boys. Villains first off, drops. Drops into the crouch, get the get the accuracy bonus. Time to go full auto. Oh, no line of fire. No, well, I'm full auto over here. Ooh. Yeah. 5.56 squad automatic weapon. It shoots a lighter round than the AR, so it does a little less damage. And uh yeah, it's not too bad. A quick look over here. So when he comes out of that out of that door, we'll be ready. Okay. Can save in fire. Generally not. Uh, 50 cal so eh, so powerful and heavy that you really can't move very far and shoot it. I can make a snapshot, but freeze in the way. Yeah, let's just crouch to make a make your target smaller. Of human. Oh, he's blocked. Yeah, there's all sorts of uh, trees and logs by the uh, LZ here. Yeah, they don't they don't want the tank messing up because the tank generally has explosives. But people are more valuable. And that's why you use the tank like you do. Bug. Over here, the peak lake looks good. Nothing too unusual there. Don't like this guy, but he's already taken two hits. So he's probably hurt pretty bad. His accuracy is going to be way down. Okay. Here in Crouch. Hopefully no one's got a grenade. Usually in the early game they don't. But I'm going to this sprint over here. Get a full sprint from here, from the can jar. Hey, okay, let's move Fata up here. Get him ready to go off the bus next. Yep. Have a good one, Tips. I'll, I'll see you on uh, your stream later. Whenever you, get, whenever you get back in, probably around the morning. Sleep well, man. Thanks for hopping in. I'll try to make you do good. In turn, see what happens. Like I said, they love shooting at that. Oh, ooh, connections going yellow and red, and that ain't good. 
Oh, that's just beautiful. Everybody's just dancing around in front of the door. So. Everybody needs kills. Go full auto with this slug gun. A little inaccurate for Ghost Full Auto, I guess. So, let's see what uh, Snapshot is. Use 20. Well, that's why... No line of fire! Ooh. Okay. Have the villain move up. Oh yeah, you can see it. Full Auto on these two. Oh, right upside the head. Sectoid goes down. Classical gray alien here. And, uh, nope, not enough time units. I'll make him crouch. I'm gonna move Pickles over one spot. Maybe he'll get the line of sight on this guy. Snapshot. Far left. Oh, no time. Okay. Go snapshot on this. Ooh, center of mass. Straight down. Okay, that's three aliens down. The rest were probably inside. It's a little weird to see them out this early. But, uh... Maybe they may have been getting ready to complete their mission. Okay. Gassers providing cover. And just right there, I misclicked. So that's why you want to have the confirm movement on. Mm, okay. But let's get these guys off the bus next. Bata. Okay. Donger. That's a ridiculous name you picked. I'm not sure why I think about Gasser either, but my buddy in uh, Japan, you do you, I guess. Oh, yeah, move him right in the way of the sniper rifle. That was smart. Get him out of the way. Tips 135. I the tire here to get some cover. I'll slowly expand the wheel. More movement. Doors being opened. And go in yellow. I'm gonna have to call my ISP. This is uh, untenable. At least the uh. After stream, it'll be good, because I'll have a video upload. Won't be on Twitch, but that's fine. Hey. Okay. Well, I'm going to send the tank around to go finish the sweep. Everybody's got the front door kind of handled. Usually there's an enemy messing around back here doing stuff. Villain, your job is to provide cover. Rest of you. Yeah, I mean, this, the uh, automatic shotgun's best, even with shotguns, even with these slugs, it's just best to be using it close range if you're going full auto. Otherwise, just single shot it. Take advantage of the range. Sometimes I even forget how I design my own weapons. Kind of sad. Take this real slow. Okay. That's good for pickles. Donger, I'm gonna make you scramble the next piece of cover here, a nice tree. And they're not just stumps. If you scroll upward, you can see the rest of the tree. It's in, it's pseudo 3D, so you have different layers. This is the highest layer, then one down. Touches, touches the tops of the trees, uh, tops of the trees cut off, and then the base level here. 
Okay. Tips can move, so... That's definitely his thing, is that he's pretty quick. So, I'm gonna go have him sprint around this. That bush, those bushes and logs and trees should provide some pretty good cover here. Yeah, th those are actual stumps. You see how they're blown out. All right. Back to it. Anybody up? Yep. Catastrophe is on, uh, on the bus still. But the rocket launcher guys, it's always good to move them as much as possible so they can't fire. The only one I'm firing during your, doing your, during your turn, unless you have a real good clean shot, uh, clean alley of fire, and nobody ahead of them. The last thing you need is a heavy rocket slamming in the back of your scout. That looks good. We have pretty good cover here. Ooh. Takes it like a champ. <laughs> Greetings! Oh, dang. Lit up. Let's see how you're doing here, uh, Donger. Uh, one fatal wound, 30, 37 health left. I'll have to get a hustle on here in a second, because I don't think I... We don't have the... Uh, hey, what's this? Let's do this. Full uh, burst fire grenade launcher. Fun. Yeah, remember how I said there's always like a uh, alien messing around in the back of the UFO. There we go. Can't get back there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I can at least move here to get a better view. A big pile of dead aliens in front of the uh. The UFO here. Well. Donger's hurt. Oh, okay. This is the good thing. See if we hit this aim shot. 90%. Oh, 90% and you miss. That's XCOM, baby. Let's see what this looks like. 13%. Just out of the range. Not out of range. This automatic rifle. Wow, wide right. Pulls it back together, puts two into the shoulder and neck. Okay, Gasser has some time to uh, get some reaction fire too. Okay. Anjar, let's uh, have you move up and take that cursed position where uh, your buddy just got shot. That's smart. Hmm. I'm gonna make a subhuman sprint over here to the side of the uh, UFO. Okay, looks like we have some pretty good cover here. People ready to make to make moves. Oops. Again, let's, you're gonna be part of the entry stack, so. Get you over here in position. These are not windows, unfortunately. Uh, we were able to see inside here once that... Uh, I mean, this is all under fog of war. We can see what the terrain was there, but any enemies in there, we can't actually see them right now. Until that door opens. But we can see what we saw because that door opened when the aliens came out and then promptly got uh, hammered by everybody on uh, reaction fire. So... Vehicles. Hmm. Who we over here? Oh, you've been huffing that smoke. Your, your endurance is trash. Gas are still in position. That, uh, let's move you up here. Face the door, ready to fire. Hurt. Pastor B. At those time units, you can't fire. Door opening. Nope. I can't get back there with the with the uh, with the uh, 
tank here. Once I do that, a quick grenade to wreck everything. Okay, looks good back here. No more, no more aliens. Okay, let's have Donger finish the sweep for the team. He's bleeding a little bit, but he ain't got time to bleed. Turn left. I'll turn right. Yeah, that's good. He'll kill us in reaction player time there. Kanjar. Uh, and move over here. Turn left and face the door. Okay. I like to make the guys kind of wait right here. Because then we'll stack up here and here to go through the door. Um, do you have a smoky? Who has a smoky? Donger has a smoky. Okay. You have to do your teammates to solid here. And throw an unprimed grenade. To your buddy there. Anjar is going to pick up the grenade off the ground and put it in his hand. And then, yep, we'll wait. Crouch. Okay. I need to leave Fata in position because he's got good reactions. Taster B, let's have you follow the tank. Good endurance training. Sprinting around with a 40 pound rocket launcher. Shouldn't be that heavy. Uh, okay, leave the villain here watching that door. Daven, I need you to move to a spot where you have a clear avenue of fire. Turn that way, and then crouch. Okay, light's still green, which means I'm still dreaming here. That's good. Anybody not moved? Okay. Door. At least two in there. Okay. All right. Stack up. One, two. Prime this grenade. Alien right there, so we're going to move right here. Okay. Okay, that door is open. Uh, one kilo of steel ball bearings. And a half kilo of HMX. Oh, okay. Back around the corner so you don't get freaking blasted. Stay with you. Okay. Everybody in position still. Yep. Good line of avenues of fire. Pickles, I was in the middle of moving you up here. Hopefully you can see you make some shots. Hopefully that smoke went inside. Find out in a second. Subhuman unloads the slugs. Drops it on the ground because it's quicker. Well, it's the buckshot. Hey. Okay. Oh, that's a nice touch. They must have added that with the uh, new version. Getting darker the longer we play. Didn't used to do that in the original game. Pretty much once you hit the once you hit the ground running on a tactical mission, time didn't pass. It definitely looks like it's getting darker. 
Anyways, so let's move the tank over here. Are we clear? Looks like it. Hey. Okay. Oh. My connection is not having a good time. Oh. For those who are suffering watching me here, uh there'll be a there'll be a virgins up where it won't be so won't be so uh won't be lagging so bad. If you use till two percent, yeah, it's just my connections being flaky. Okay, I can come out that door. Run, tips, run! <laughs> There's something there, but it's not going to be having fun with that, that's for sure. Hey. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the way we do it. Out we go. Door closed behind him. He'll be all set. Move Tips back in the position to run back in next turn. Oh, there might be two more inside there. Okay. That angle's clear. Oh, look at that. Okay, subhuman, you're going to be the one that's going to save him because he's going to come right flying around this corner and you're going to auto shotgun him in the face. Okay. Move Fata up because we might need a secondary stack here. Yeah, there might be one or two more guys in there. But this is going to be an attacked UFO, so that's going to be beautiful. Yep, no one else out here. How you doing for health? 31. Perfect. Who else is going to go in there and do some, have some fun? Let's get Gasser up there. Mr. Gasser. Out in Hokkaido. At least I think it's Hokkaido. Northern Japan. Can you run? Looks like you can. Yes. Oh no! Tips goes down! I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Tips. Everybody who watches my stream seems to get shot in the face. Dang. Another one. Jesus. Hey, Gasser. Let's go auto shot. Oh, that was a hit. But not a down. 14%. Nope. Hey. Sprint up there. All in, all in, all chips in. Man, there's a there's a lot of aliens on this on this mission. Two down. Hey. Okay. Oh dang! Well, that's gonna be the end of him. And mission. Two operatives killed. 
which is kind of unavoidable at this state stage in the game. At least until we get the improvised armor. Rating good. Oh. Oh. That's brutal. Luckily. I can do this. Ray's dead. Ray's dead. And we're gonna go sell some sectoid bodies. I'm sure that uh I'm sure that some in the uh various presidential administrations and administrations in uh various parts of the world could have has some use for some sectoid corpses, right? Sure. Ooh, look at that money for this mine probes. Keep one on hand though. Small launcher. Bunch of alien weapons, rifles and pistols. Oh, that's 1.3 million. That's Jeff Kiss right there. I gotta keep these power sources and navigations for other things. So still green light? Yep, we're still a green light. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cut it short real quick. Um kind of cut this uh, video into two parts. Well, three parts, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, be right back in a few minutes with uh, another chapter of this. This uh, episode into a two-parter. So thank you for those who are watching. Be cool, be safe, and make good decisions. Good night.